Hello students, welcome back to the next part. Uh, today I have a chope, your English teacher. And today we are going to do what? The exercises of lesson one. What was the name of the lesson number one? That is the tale of two mice. I have told you the story of uh, two mice, Johnny Mouse and Timmy Willy. Okay, now we have done the um, reading part. We have done the explanation part. I have given you the introduction also. Now today we are going to do the uh, exercises. Okay, so shall we start? Okay, the first thing that we can see is on page number seven. हमें क्या करना है सबसे पहले fill in the blanks okay fill in the blanks करेंगे सबसे पहले Timmy Willy was born in a dash in a dash so Timmy Willy कहाँ पे born हुआ था he was born in a garden in a village clear next number two Johnny lived in a large he was living in a large house and in a large city also and so, यहाँ पे क्या आंसर आएगा? Johnny lived in a large city, okay? And large house भी बोल सकते हैं। He was living in a large house, no? He was born and brought up there. Timmy fell asleep inside the hamper after eating green peas, okay? After munching all the yummy delicious green peas, he broke three, he broke three glasses when he landed in the middle of the party. Okay, the two young mice were dash the guests. The two young mice means Timmy Willy and Johnny Town Mouse. They were serving the guests. Okay, sixth number. The most comfortable bed in the house was the was the the sofa. Okay, that was the most comfortable bed of Johnny Town Mouse. Okay, that was the hole in the sofa. Clear, fill in the blanks. FITB is clear. Ho gaya. Next, dekhte hai, page number 8 mein what we have. Uh, comprehension part is very important. Now, answer these questions. Answer these questions. Mein, there are some questions. And we will discuss them. This is the PDF. This is the question answers. Puri exercises. Okay, and if you have any doubt, you can call me. And I will give you an explanation. De dungi uska. Okay, if any student has any doubt, hota, I'll uh, have one-to-one -one discussion. Okay, now the first question is, how did Timmy Willy reach Johnny's house? How did Timmy Willy reach Johnny's house? Kaise pahuncha tha wo Johnny ke house mein? Uh, while uh, he was chewing the uh, green peas, he fell asleep in the cart, in that horse cart, and he reached uh, there in Johnny's house through that hamper okay now how did johnny treat timmy what does this tells us about him now there are two questions question number two mein do, do questions hai. Pehla hai, how did johnny treat timmy johnny ne timmy ko kaise treat kya achhe se baat ki ki nahi ki usko awkward to nahi feel karwaya to Johnny ने बहुत अच्छे से उसको treat किया Timmy को कैसे पहले तो उसकी rough landing हुई और उसने बोला oh my god who are you then he said okay meet my new friend okay तो उसने उसको बिल्कुल भी awkward feel नहीं करवाया कि तुम किसी unknown जगह पे आ गए so this is a very good lesson that you are getting from this story किसी को भी कभी भी life में awkward नहीं feel करवाना if you are not known to that person तो ठीक है it's okay it's okay, you can join us, you can join us for the dinner, you can join us for the lunch, okay? So, ye apan bol sakte hai, jab koi aata hai, maare kar mein to. Next, pucha, what does this tell us about him? This tell us about Johnny's behavior, his attitude towards the new people, okay? It shows the generosity of whom? Johnny, clear? Why could Timmy not sleep on the most comfortable bed in the, mouth, in the house? Because that bed is having the smell of cat. Johnny can sleep into that, but Timmy is a village mouse. And he was able to smell uh, that, uh, that fragrance of cat in that sofa. Because cat was also sitting on that sofa, no? Clear? Now, what did Timmy miss? Fourth number. 
टीमेट क्या मिस करता था वो अपने विलेज को मिस करता था वो अपने गार्डन को मिस करता था वो अपने टाइप के खाने को मिस करता था ओके ना नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट वुड जॉनी एंड हिज फ्रेंड्स डू एवरी डे इन द हाउस सब लोग क्या करते थे दिन भर घर में दे यूज टू डू पार्टी एंड पार्टी एंड पार्टी ओके वो दिन भर खाते रहते थे वो लोग और इंजॉय करते रहते थे और इधर उधर घूमते रहते थे और कैट को अपने पीछे घुमाते रहते थे क्लियर वट डिड टिमी डिसाइड टू डू आफ्टर फ्यू डेज टिमी ने क्या सोचा जब कुछ दिन वो वहाँ रह गया जॉनी के घर पे उसने क्या सोचा ही डिसाइडेड दैट आई शुड मूव बैक टू माई गार्डन आई शुड मूव बैक टू माई विलेज क्लियर नेक्स्ट नाउ दिस इज वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड द क्वेश्चन आंसर दैट इज आंसर दीज क्वेश्चन नाउ नंबर सी रीड दिस सेंटेंसेज रीड दिस सेंटेंस फ्रॉम द स्टोरी एंड आंसर द क्वेश्चन दैट फॉलो नाउ देर इज अ लाइन He lost his appetite and turned pale. Lost his appetite मतलब एक खाने की जो इच्छा होती है ना वो मर जाना He lost his appetite. Willingness to eat was dead. So who is he? कौन था वो वो था टिमी वी लेडी ओके वॉट मेड हिम लूज हिज अपटाइट एंड टर्न पेल because if all the time he was running and running running and who was behind him the cat okay so he was running uh, and afraid of that cat that's why he turned pale and lost his appetite what do the words lost his appetite mean lost uh, his appetite means willingness to eat was lost okay what happened immediately after this now after this uh, everyone was shocked that what happened why did he turn pale uh, you want some rest or you want something to eat you want some jelly to eat and he said no i just want to take rest so this was all about c section now moving towards the d think and answer how do you think johnny mouse would feel if he visited timmy willy in the village now see think and answer kabhi bhi aapko milega so that is would depend karta hai person to person mera answer kuch alag hoga aapka answer kuch alag hoga aapke mamma ka alag hoga aapke papa ka alag hoga aapka friends ka alag hoga so ye sirf perception to perception kaam karta hai theek hai tumhara thought process kuch alag hai but dusre ka kuch alag hai so think and answer depends okay ye answer vary karega okay now How do you think Johnny Mouse would feel if he visited Timmy Willy in the village? अगर Johnny Town Mouse अगर village में जाता Timmy Willy के पास तो वो क्या सोचता? पहला question, ठीक है? मेरा answer इसके लिए अलग है. आपको अपना answer सोच के लिखना है. Talk to your class about incident when you had visit uh, had to visit a new place that you ended up disliking. Now this is again your question, your thought process. आप कहीं गए थे, आप वो जगह पसंद नहीं आई. क्यों पसंद नहीं आई और आपको क्या प्रॉब्लम हुई वहां पे ये आपको इस आंसर में लिखना है ठीक है क्लियर ना द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग वेन आई वी टॉक अबाउट दिस तो आप फेयर नोटबुक में क्या करोगे टफ वर्ड्स लिखोगे क्लियर द ग्लॉसरी सेक्शन हार्ड वर्ड्स देन क्वेश्चन आंसर्स देन सी सेक्शन रीड दिस सेंटेंसेस ये सब कुछ नोटबुक में नहीं लिखना है सम एक्सरसाइजेज आर ऑफ बुक एक्सरसाइज ओके यू डोंट हैव टू डू विच ऑन योर नोटबुक clear now next is vocabulary what do you mean by vocabulary vocabulary mein here we can see is the compound words compound words kya hote hain aapne pehle kabhi padhe hain nikita ma'am ne aapko padhaya hai okay ek bar revision kar lete hain theek hai compound words wo hote hain jab hum kisi do words ko milate hain one word another word jod denge to kya ban jayega it will become compound word for example i'll give you example See, there is an example from your book. See, you pick up plus board. Cupboard, तो नहीं पढ़ सकते इसको. इसको बोलते हैं सा cupboard. क्या बोलते हैं? Cupboard. I'm having headache. Headache. Head ache. Head h e a d head plus ache a c h e headache. Okay. So this is these are called compound words everywhere, nowhere, everything, by the way. ये सब क्या है हमारे compound words हैं. Clear? Now let's see the uh, next exercise. Okay. Now make new compound words using the pictures as clues. One has been done for you. Now here we can see. 
there's an exercise and you this exercise you have to do it i will tell you only one or two uh, numbers okay the first you can see ear plus ring becomes your ring okay dragon and plus fly become dragon fly foot and ball so what it becomes football okay now rain then coat it becomes raincoat so i have told you three now you have to do it by yourself clear now next is b b number take the correct meaning of each word dinner dinner is what the first meal of the day mm -hmm. no a basket with a handle and a lid mm -hmm. usually the last meal of the day is called dinner now, second number is jolt jolt ki meaning kya hogi move suddenly okay clear let's see the next turn the page question number third nervous what do you mean by nervous feeling afraid feeling afraid of fresh means happily a fresh start with a happy start that is now abhi tak to humne ye kar liya ab apan kahan pe aate hain grammar portion mein you understand grammar ग्रामर में हम पढ़ते हैं नाउन प्रो नाउन वर्ब एडवर्ब ये सब क्या कहलाते हैं पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच कितने पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच होते हैं एट पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच होते हैं नाउन प्रो नाउन वर्ब एडवर्ब एडजेक्टिव प्रपोजिशन कंजंक्शन इंटरजेक्शन ठीक है इतना सब अभी आपको पढ़ना नहीं है सिर्फ आपकी नॉलेज के लिए बताया मैंने ठीक है अब यहाँ पे क्या है नाउन क्या होता है noun is the name of person place animal and thing jitne bhi naming words hote hain wo hum noun kehte hain theek hai ab noun countable bhi ho sakte hain aur uncountable bhi ho sakte hain hum jinhe gin sakte hain wo kehlate hain countable those what those things that we can't count usse hum kya bolenge uncountable nouns suppose these are my hairs okay hairs are what uncountable you can't count them stars you can't count them okay now what is what are these these are my fingers fingers you can count yes so these are called countable nouns okay now here there is a discussion have a banana to me oh i love bananas please can i have an orange too sure would you also like some boiled eggs look at the words in color banana orange and eggs these are countable nouns nouns that can be counted are called countable nouns example boys trees cars pencil dogs letters tables and chairs we usually add an or uh, an a or an before a single countable noun now this is a very important thing a and an ka concept pata hai aapko कहाँ पे लगाते हैं ओके सी अब कोई भी सिंगल सिंगुलर काउंटेबल नाउन होगा तो हम वहाँ पे क्या लगाते हैं ए और एन लगाते हैं ओके आई लव इटिंग राइस रियली आई लव चीज डू यू वॉन्ट सम नो थैंक यू आई लाइक शुगर टू नोट द वर्ड्स इन कलर राइस चीज शुगर दीज आर काउंटेबल दीज आर अनकाउंटेबल नाउन ओके like water salt rice oil these are uncountable now clear let's see turn the page there is we have an exercise that is look at the picture in each side and tick the odd one out what do you have to do the uncountable and countable nouns have been mixed up in each set of pictures theek hai picture mein mix kiya gaya hai 1 2 3 mein now you have to rectify countable and uncountable nouns have been mixed up in each set now can you count uh, leaves can you count dog can you count color yes what you can't count is the grass to so first may number 1 grass okay second there is a juice there is ice cream one glass of juice one ice cream one cone and what is that In the center is a pond. Can you count pond? No, you can't. That is the odd one out. Now here you can see rice, sandwich, and one boat. What is countable? 
Rice is countable? No. Sandwich is countable and boat is countable. But rice is uncountable now. So this is the R1 part. Now there is a discussion going on between the two minds. Okay. The first, uh, I love, I live in a garden with a huge oak tree. Uh, a swarm of bees had built a beehive in it. Beehive, you understand? Madhumakki ka chatta, that is beehive. Oh, I was once stung by red ants. You know, there was an army of ants in the kitchen where the cook keeps the sugar. One summer, a troop of monkeys entered the garden. They pull out the plants and left the garden in a mess. Now, the words and colors are called collective nouns. Here, what do you mean by collective noun? Jab hum kisi bhi cheez ki group mein baat karte hai. Okay, just say ki if I'm talking about a bouquet, bouquet is what? It's a group of flowers. Okay, single, single flower mein ki bouquet banta hai. So, isse hum kerte hai collective noun. Okay, like a flock of birds. Chudiyo ke jhund ko hum kya bolte hai? Flock of birds. Okay, so isse hum kerte hai collective noun. Clear? Now let's see, there is an exercise, okay? There are the uh, group of people, group of animals, group of things. You have to do exercise number B. Now, you have to uh, underline the incorrect collective nouns in the sentence and write the correct collective nouns in the blanks. So, you have to correct wale ko likhna hai. Okay, the first is a herd of soldiers meet their way uh, through the dense forest. So what would be the shoulders would be in? Dekho, shoulders kai pe likha hai ki shoulders kis mat hai? Troop, T-R-O-O-P, troop, okay? Heard nahi bolte, shoulders ke isko group ko kya bolte hai? Troop, the farmer led his chest of geese to the pond. Geese ke group ko kya bolte hai? Gaggle, to chest underline hai, aapko usko yaa pe gaggle karna hai, okay? We went with an army of tourists to visit the famous caves. Army of tourist. So tourist ko aap kya bologe? Tourist flock. Okay. Next we have my mother bought a flight of beads from the shop. Flight of beads from the shop. So beads ko kya bolenge? String. Clear? You can see it is there in your book. Okay. String of beads. Now Priyanka, uh, the class of bulls was attacked by a gaggle of Lions. Lion ke group ko kya bolenge? Pack. Okay. The last one. Priyanka loves flock of puppies that lives in the park. The flock of puppies. Puppies ke group ko kya bolenge? Litter. Clear. It's much mass for collective noun. Okay. Ab hum hai. Next what we have is punctuation. Now this is a very important part. Jabhi bhi aap uh, apni classes start karte ho, the very basic point that you understand is punctuation marks. First letter should always be capital. Kaha pe hume full stop rakna hai, where we should put commas, okay? So, ye sari cheeze hume punctuations mein dhyan rakni hoti hai. Clear? Like first sentence is John and Jyoti are best friends. So, John ka J should be capital. Jyoti J should be capital because they are proper nouns. Now we kai type kya hota hai, okay? Proper noun, common noun, collective noun. Collective abhi apan ne pad liya, group ko bolte hai. Proper noun kis ko bolte hai, jo hum kisi bhi cheez ki ya kisi bhi insan ki, kisi bhi jage ki properly baat kar rahe hai, usse hum proper noun kehte hai. Clear? So, ye exercise aap khud se kariye ga, okay? Jo bhi names hai, aap usko capital me likhenge. Clear? Samaj ke? This is your homework. Next. Now here there uh, is pronunciation part, syllable. This is a new thing, syllable. Syllable, what do you mean by syllable? You have uh, studied about vowels, five vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Okay, the sound of the, these vowels are called syllable. A syllable is the sound of vowels. Okay, for example, I studied cat, cat, at, at, cat. At, a, a, that is syllable, okay? One syllable sound. Take it. Now, there are so many types of syllables, like two syllable, three syllable, okay? Just like uh, a syllable is a sound, uh, is the sound of vowel, a, e, i, o, and u, that we make when we say word aloud. The number of times you hear a vowel sound in a word is the number of syllables in it. 
लाइक सून 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 इज अ वर्ड इसमें क्या है वन सिलेबल ओ एंड वेन बी टॉक अबाउट सोनर 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 विल बी गोइंग टू कम सोनर तो ओ एंड ई टू सिलेबल्स आर देर क्लियर सो दिस इज द एक्सरसाइज दैट यू हैव टू do it now say these words aloud do they have one or two syllables right one or two next like first i find 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 one syllable smelled 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 one syllable chani 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 one syllable Now, two syllable का क्या एग्जाम्पल होगा टम्बलिंग टम्बलिंग आई ओके यू एन आई सो दिस इज यू हैव टू डू लिस्निंग यू डोंट हैव टू डू दिस इज द डिफरेंट एक्सरसाइज वी डोंट हैव दैट लिस्निंग वाला ऑडियो सो दिस इज यू हैव टू लीव इट फॉर टाइम बींग ओके नाउ द लास्ट पेज ऑफ दिस लेसन okay there are two pictures you can see one picture the another picture okay now they look similar but there are five differences aapko wo differences note dekhne hain aur note down karke rakhna hai five points mein okay pehla to aapko dikh raha hai dono mein birds ka color alag hai dusra aapko dikh sakta hai what you can see in this image you can see the um, caterpillar okay but in the another second one there is no caterpillar so these are the things that you have to notice clear so here we have completed our lesson number 1 we have done the exercises also if you are having any doubt you can call me and we can discuss the doubts clear students so stay tuned for more videos do like share subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you bye bye